Hey everybody, welcome. I'm Suzanne Gunderson from Screen Right Now, and I help screenwriters and industry creatives to naturally de-stress and get focused into their creative rhythm and flow, build tremendous confidence, and deepen their emotional worldview into wisdom and truth. That way they can hook every audience. So today's video is a part of my industry wisdom bit series where I'm bringing to you television and professionals, television and film professionals, uh, to share with us one golden nugget or wisdom and advice that might be able to help you in your career. And today we're joined by Colette Sartor. Colette, thank you so much for being here today. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having me. Um, I am a recovering entertainment lawyer. Um, I practiced for full-time for about eight and a half years before I uh, tossed in the towel and became a fiction writer, went to graduate school. And I am also the executive director of the Cinestory Foundation, which is um, a nonprofit geared at um, supplying mentorship for emerging TV and screenwriters. And I was brought into it by, I have an identical twin sister who is actually a writer director. Her name is Lisan Sartor. And she's been a part of Cinestory for about 20 years. And she pulled me in when they were looking for a new executive director. Um, and I've been there since I think 2017 in various roles. And it's just a wonderful organization. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, mentoring screenwriters must, push, much, must be just such a wonderful gift um, to be able to share all of your experience and wisdom with them. It, it, you know, it really is. And I've been surprised at how much crossover there is because I also teach creative writing mm -hmm. um, as a fiction writer. And there's a tremendous amount of crossover uh, in dealing with any kind of writer whether I'm, I'm working with fiction writers or screen and TV writers. You know, we just had our TV retreat this past weekend. And I had also just had an intensive, um, uh, an intensive fiction writing workshop, four day intensive that I taught the month before. And there really was a lot of crossover in the things that we talked about. It was really fascinating for me. It's amazing. And I know you said you come from the, the legal world, you know, we're covering the legal world. So what a breadth uh, of, um, of experience that you have. So you must have come to learn so much in your career. Could you just uh, whittle it down to just one gem or golden nugget for our audience today? Sure. Um, I think the real crossover that I've discovered is building an authentic community. Um, it's been essential in every aspect of my life, and it's never been so apparent to me how important it is to build an authentic community than it has been in Cinestory. It's something we talk about during every retreat, and what I mean by that is that, you know, we always tell people um, when we're in person, also when we're virtual, you know, look to your left, look to your right, you know, when we're virtual, look up, look down. <laughs> this is your community. You want to do lateral community building, really get to know people who are emerging writers like you are or mid-career or whatever it is, but get to know the people who are at a similar level to you in particular and build those authentic relationships. If, if you're out there just trying to schmooze and get to know the right people, people sense that. They don't want to know you. But if you're genuinely looking to make connections, lasting connections with people, particularly other writers, mm. you will be there to carry each other. And I have to say, I learned that as a young lawyer, um, you know, I had authentic relationships that I built in law school that helped me throughout my legal career. And I did that in my own MFA program. Some of my closest friends are from that program. We exchange work. We now are seeing each other virtually once a month. Um, and through Cinestory, you know, I've built some tremendous relationships with both writers and mentors, mm. which have been extremely valued to me, valuable to me in both my professional, but, but, and my personal life. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's just having a supportive community, especially as a writer is essential because those are the people who are going to come up the ranks with you. Those are the people right. who are going to read your work, right. um, and help you advance. Uh, as, you know, yes, professionally, you know, building relationships, getting jobs, but what's more important to that, at least to me as a writer, is helping you creatively. Because if you're not advancing creatively, you're not going to advance professionally. 
Yeah. Um, and, and having that right support is, it's not just any support. It's not the, the support you think it might be in trying to claw your way in front of somebody who's not your right audience or right or not your peer, who's going to be with you, like you said, as you come up through the ranks, but like really defining, you know, what support me means to you and yes. aligning yourself with those people. Oh my gosh, what an important thing to have in your, in your life as a writer, um, to surround yourself with people who understand. Yeah. And, you know, and I've been very lucky. I've been a part of several writers groups throughout my career as a writer. Um, one of them lasted for, oh my gosh, 15, 16 years and only disbanded. It was just three of us and only disbanded when one of us went to uh, join the Peace Corps and went overseas. And I've got another one. We've been together 10, 12 years and then another tiny one I formed in the past four or five years. Mm -hmm. And I look at Sinistory where at each retreat, even our virtual retreat, which has been fascinating to us because we were so worried about bringing an authentic Sinistory story experience mm. into the virtual world. Because really when we meet in person, it's intense, it's sure. just wonderful. It's um, yeah, but there there's such a synergy in the Sinistory story experience that, you know, we've done three virtual retreats now and we have already heard from our writers that they formed writers groups together. You know, we, form, we break them into groups for our smaller activities. Yeah. And like group C seems to be the group that always sticks together, that <laughs> has already formed writers groups and they're, they're meeting once a month or every few weeks. And, and it's, it buoys you, you know, it keeps you feeling as if it's okay to be creative. It's a good thing to be creative in a chaotic world. Um, and yeah, it, it's, it's been a godsend to me. Yeah. So find your authentic family, your authentic writing family, <laughs> you yeah. know, can support you as support you as you're kind of coming up through the ranks and be able to, you know, be able to read your scripts and support you through the whole journey of being a writer. So how fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that wisdom. I'm sure it's going to help with a lot of people who might just be feeling like they have to go get some other type of person in their life to read their scripts. It's really your own peers. It's really the only the people who are kind of in the trenches with you and, and clawing your way up together. Um, Very much so. Very much so. Those are my first readers. Wonderful. So how can we find out more about what's going on with you now? Um, well, me personally, I have a website, uh, colettesartor.com. Sinistory, uh, sinistory.org. We have a feature contest going on right now. And anyone who enters our feature contest is in the running to win um, our feature fellowship, which is $10,000. Mm -hmm. uh, but more important, to be honest, it's a one year mentorship with two of our, our mentors who mm -hmm. are spectacular human beings. They're all working professionals. Um, and they donate their time. You know, they're incredible. Oh. They really, they're, they really give back uh, to the writing community. Um, and you can find out about that contest on our website. Um, and our TV contest will open soon because our, our feature retreat, which is kind of mid contest right now is in October mm -hmm. and, and it's always in October and our TV retreat is in March. So mm -hmm. if you go to our website, you'll see which contest is open. Great, And you can obviously find us on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram as well. All that good social media stuff. Yeah. So go to sinistory.org yep. and uh, go find out or they're on social media, start following them there. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Claude. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, feel free to pop on over to my website screen right now and download your free e-copy of three steps to get pitch ready. That way you can get into authentic alignment with yourself and be able to pit and hook your audience. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you on the next Industry Wisdom Bits. Thanks, Colette. Thanks, Suzanne.